Hello everyone, welcome back to any two tutorial YouTube channel. We are come back from our previous video with the video number four. We is talking about how can we install Active Retrieve domain name service. And now we continue with our quick creation and how can we quick creation with the DNS. So let's go now. First, log into our server. So after you install with your computer, it's when you log in, it will be showing like this. It will be dindic, will be so. The first is uh, your domain, and after that, it will be your username. So you can also change with the. You just type if you want. If you don't want to log into your domain, you can specify with the computer name. DC and user if you want to uh, remove the domain controller or some service that it uh, required to install with the user computer so now it different before you use the computer with the the user the computer user but now we come up with the new user we call it the domain user it will become a domain and the user and the password it will be the same So in other this one is not yet finished yet like what I told you in the previous video we need to do some configuration in the DNS which is domain name server in our server so let's wait for the server manager when it's already finished come up with the panel we will going to configure together Just wait for the indicate. So, to configure this one, you need to go to DNS. By going to tool and DNS. Okay, this is your computer name and you need to go to, this is your domain, any tooth. But what you need to do in this uh, step, you need to configure the reverse lookup soon. So to configure this one, you need to click on new zone. And just click next, 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 and provide your IP address of your network. So I forget already my IP network. Just IP for quick. This one is your IP network. One nine two one six eight zero. Click next, next, and finish. So, I would like to explain to you about forward lookup zone and reverse lookup zone. Forward lookup zone is will translate. Of oh, course, we come up with the domain and, and system. First, do DNS, how DNS work? This, this uh, step, uh, many people they know already what is DNS mean. 
but I would like to explain for those who are basic come up with the Windows Server or with the basic network configuration. Then as it will use to translate from IP address to your domain or from your domain to IP address. And in Server 2012 or with the other version of Windows Server, it will be the same. It has two zones, forward lookup zone and reverse lookup zone. For forward lookup zone is used for translate from name to IP address and from reverse lookup zone is from IP address to your domain name. So be clear. Now, in this step, we already configured with the reverse lookup zone, but in order to work with this step, we need to point our domain. So just right click and new pointer, and you need to provide the specific address 101, okay? 101, make sure that very it's really correct and which server it is DC. Yep, and then click OK. So just refresh. It means that this one is already work with your server. So, in order to check this one, you can use NS lookup. And you type one two three uh, one ninety two six eight just zero one zero one and it will be C. It translate from this one is from IP address that we entered before is and it will turn it with the IP address of the server. So just click accept. This is how can we configure with the DNS to point to our domain controller. In the next video, we will configure how can you join from your client to your server so that your client will be allowed all the permission to your server to manage indeed. So don't forget or you can subscribe subscribe our YouTube channel to update with our uh, new update tutorial of the computer tutorial. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.